Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Muhammad Amar bin Abdul Razak and my metric number is 284790. Today, my friend and I would like to present a video about the place that we can travel during the holidays. Now, I would like to share with all of you about the place that we can travel during the holiday is Langkawi Island. Why I choose Langkawi Island? Langkawi Island is the most popular tourist island in Malaysia. It is one of the islands in the district of Kedah. Visitors who want to travel to this island can take a plane or ferry from Kuala Kedah Jetty, Kuala Polis Jetty or Penang Jetty. The island is also famous for its shopping activities and it was declared a duty-free island in 1980. The specialty of Langkawi Island is there are several unique natural attractions. Among the popular tourist destination is Kilim Gyo Forest Park. Kilim Gyo Forest Park is a place where tourists will be taken to see the beauty of nature by boat. Gyo Parks have certain geological uniqueness including mountains, rocks, rivers, mangrove swamp, cave, lake, wildlife, and so on. The project to visit the Gyob Forest Park is undertaken by Kampong Kilim Community Cooperative. To explore the mangrove swamp is also see the beauty of this island. There are several mangrove tour packages on offer. On this street, on the Kilim River, visitor will see a species of mangrove trees that are said to be hundred or thousand years old, and limestone rock structures that are million of years old. Visitors will also explore into the cave, including the bat cave. This cave houses more than a thousand bats. Consisting of various types such as insect pets and flower pets. In addition, visitors can also see eagles during eagle feeding. Tourists will be taken to areas where eagles fly there. Indeed, there are many eagles. Most of them are brown eagles. There are also grey sea eagle snakes. Visitor will be taken to the crocodile cave. Just the name of the crocodile cave, but not a single crocodile. Visitors can feed the fish and can see the fish jumping to get the food. Last but not least, visitors will be taken to a floating house. This floating house has many fish cage. And not only fish, but there are variety of marine life that are keep such as crabs, shrimps, snail, and others. Here, visitors can see the archer fish, which are fish that will archer the food when the visitors themselves stick the food on the wood. After one hour of visiting the forest park. Visitors can visit directly to Tasik Dayang Bunting. The uniqueness of this lake and its own mix will surely incite all of you. The island got its name from a fairy tale that supposedly the island looked like a maid named Mambang Sari, who was deceived by Mateja, so that. She became pregnant with her child because she loved him too much. But after seven days, the child was born. The baby suffered from a mysterious disease. Mambang Sari then put his son is in the lake and caused the legend of Tasik Dayang Bunting. On the way Tasik Dayang Bunting, tourists will see a mountain shape that resembles a woman lying down. With the shape of a pregnant head, chest, and abdomen, this lake is also a large freshwater lake that exceeds the area of three football fields. 
This lake is really unique and beautiful when viewed from the air. Its position is close to the sea, but still retain fresh water because the wall shaped rock hill separate the lake from the sea. Because the lake is surrounded by hill, visitors have to climb a relative high hill. Yet stairs and comfortable walkways are built all the way to the destination. Once down the stair, there is a also water activity area built over the lake. Here, there is also a souvenir shop that sells various items to be used as souvenirs. It is impossible to travel to Langkawi Islands without going to the Langkawi Cable Car. Langkawi Cable Car is one of the main tourist attractions on Langkawi Islands. It started operation on 25 February 2005 and it is often the focus of domestic and foreign tourists. The interesting thing about the Langkawi Cable Car is that it has the steepest roads in the world. It is also the main transportation to the top of Mount Machinchang where visitors can see the beauty of nature, interesting scenery of Langkawi and the islands in its waters. Cable car ticket also includes some of the others and attractions available there. Visitors can visit all these interesting places of the cable car ride. Among them, is the 3D Art Museum. This museum is the largest 3D museum in Malaysia. It offers a variety of interesting 3D painting. Visitors can witness a variety of unique and quite impressive work of art. Most of them have a fantasy concept. Second is Skyrex. At Skyrex, Visitors will sit and mess on a platform will see arranged like a tram. Each visitor will be given 3D classes. Then the platform will move into the cinema. Here, visitor will experience the atmosphere of adventure in ancient time where dinosaurs are still roaming the earth. And the last place is Sky Dawn. It's an interesting show about outer space. A total of 12 projectors were used to produce 360 degrees image. Visitors can see stars, planets, satellites, and more in 3D. There are also have an interesting place for visitors who are afraid of the sea but want to see the animals found in the sea. The place is Underwater World Langkawi. Underwater World Langkawi is a place that offers a collection of aquariums that house various species of freshwater and marine life from around the world. Various species of fish and marine life are on display. The interior design and overview of the exhibition space is also unique and not boring. The aquarium here is decorated quite effectively. A coral and seaweeds decorate the aquarium space like the natural habitat of fish species. Visitors not only can see the beautiful fish, but there are also cute turtles and penguins. These two animals are rarely seen and can see them swimming before they are eyes so it feels so amazing. Not only live animals, but also unique corals, strange shell, and beautiful seaweeds are also on display to visitors. Some shells are already stoned and maybe thousands of years old. At the end of the tour session, visitors will meet a gift shop. Only at underwater wood Langkawi, it looks like a supermarket. Next, the place that visitor can visit is Kota Mahsuri. This place was developed in Mahsuri's original village where she was buried. In addition to Mahsuri tomb, various historical relief artifacts are collected in a vast complex. 
small village including traditional houses were rebuilt based on the design art of the time. Visitor can see and learn about culture, design and architecture as well as artifact in addition to the history itself. The first place that visitor will pass after paying the entrance ticket to the city is the Kota Masuri building. It is quite spacious and visitors will follow the road where cultural exhibition, painting and historical artifacts can be seen. Next, out of the Kota Masuri building, visitors can see other interesting places that are here. Namely, a small village built in the Kota Masuri Langkawi complex. Stepping into this area, the visitor will feel as if they are in the past. Several traditional houses were built according to the design and architecture of the time. Visitor can enter the exiting houses and see the interior of the house. The last place visitor should go is but Paradise Wildlife Park. This place is better known as Langkawi Wildlife Park, which houses various types of wild animals as well as domestic animals can be fed and held by visitors. Many attractions in this wildlife park, in fact, among which can see various species of birds, land animals, and more. Here, we can get closer to these animals. The animals found here are flamingos, peacock, hummingbird, eagles, hornbills, owls, ostrich, cassowary birds, parrot, pythons, hedgehog, deers, rabbit, white boars, beavers white, raccoon, mandarin duck, giant tortoise, alligators, and crocodiles. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go to Langkawi Islands. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anas Said Yusuf. Matric number 266870. Today I want to talk about my dream destination to London. First, the city of London is the capital of United Kingdom as well as England. Stand on the river dam, London is marked by its history. London was found by the Romanis with na who named it Londonism and London is leading a global city. It is one of the world's financial centers. London is a home of numerous museums, galleries and libraries such as British Museum, National Gallery and British Library. London is a famous for its landmarks like a Big Ben, London Eye, Birmingham Blaze, and so on. And I'm dying to try to go there to pub and ordering in the famous fish and chips. So now let's see some facts about London. One of the facts about London is museum and galleries are free. Yes, they are free totally. You don't have to pay anything, you just go there and visit. But the only bro the only downside they have is about the line. Because as we know London is a big country, uh, it's a big city and you'll see a lot of tourists there. And it's now as as you see, as you tell people that this is free, most of them will come straight away for that. So the lines will be too long and many tourists a line up to get just uh, a line up up there just to get inside there and experience it the history through the history and through artifacts 
other side I'm talking about is as you know London is a famous of shopping yes London is known as a best known streets for shopping there are a lot of streets that you can go to get a, a great great shopping such as you can go and Carnaby Street Oxford Street Wenge Street if you want to to splurge on items now if that doesn't pursue you to go to London then I don't know what will but for me one one dream of mine is to move on just one dream of mine is to go to London and move on to the stadium type flat and having an English breakfast in the morning and there is one tip through it is a, to be a financial barbarian London has has a high cost living and it's better to be prepared right now London is just a it's, it's just a dream for me and I hope one day I will be there chilling there and eating fish and chips and chilling also now let's talk about the climate London has a temperate marine climate city ex city rarely sees high or low temperature summer summer time the summer are warm july high on of 22.8 degree and low of 14 degree but the temperature can exceed up to 25 degree on many days almost every year and almost of year they exceed 80 degree on some days the highest temperature ever recorded was 88 degree on 10 August 2003 during the 2003 European heat wave now let's talk about the winter winter in London are chilly but rarely below freezing with daytime highly around 5 degree and low minus 8 degree while spring has mild days and cool evening the lowest ever recorded the temperature was minus 21 degree in January 19 uh, 7, sorry 1795 now let's look at food British food uh, British food have traditional based on beef, lamb, pork, chicken, fish and generally serve it with potato and other vegetables on the side. The most common and typical food in Britain including um, sandwich, fish, chibis and pies like the Cornish pasta and roast is dinners. The staple food of British are meat, fish, potato, fallow, butter, eggs, and many other dishes are in based on the these foods. Now, if you look at the other side, which is sporties, if you, if you take that side, many England have a lot of sporties, but the famous and recently is football. And football was first confirmed in 1863 in London. It's known as in the, U in the US and other countries soccer. The playing football in England documentary since at least 1314. England in home is the oldest football club in the world and the world's oldest competition, the FA Cup was found 1871 and the first ever football league and the modern passing game of football was developed in England in early around the 1870s for this reason is England is concerned the grade of the foot of a of the game of football so as we talk about now in this game England has said before England has many teams sports like running a lot of it but 
most of people now they focus on football. Why? Because England has a big team. Is uh, they have a competition first, which is 20 teams, and they face every week. They face every week each other until the winner. It will continue like one year, almost one year. In that competition, I watch a lot because I love football and I support one of their team, call it um, Chelsea Football Club, my favorite team. So when I look in there, you see the stadium is full because the people love to watch football. Like some the highest stadium, they have like around 80,000 people and they and they come all, all eight of them fully some games i'm talking about the big games most of the people they watch football because in england now nowadays the children if you see a uh, young generation they like now if they go in a sporty side most of them they go in a football side because it's it's, it's a funny for them and, and they can um solve they can grow up and one day they will play the big teams in English football. So I see one of them like my, like I said, I support Chelsea. And now they have a lot of gener young generation like are in the 20s now and they are playing in Chelsea football club. Before in a football, they don't have like that. Before it was big beer and all the people are playing because the young generation they don't know what football is or they don't experience it or they don't like that much but nowadays people and young generation they love to play football so that's why and they watch all the time in their homes the game is playing the world cup you see england going over there sometimes so they're watching there and they are they are a hope now that one day they will go there and they will maybe play off it. So in conclusion, as I said, going to London is my my dream. Inshallah, one day I will go soon, inshallah. And I will experience it all, as I said, going to food is free, museum is, and playing, uh, watching my team play and other team is, and enjoying my chips and my, my fish and chips, which I love the most. And inshallah one day it will be my home, my dream will come true. And that's all for me and thank you very much.